Hey everyone. Um, somebody asked me if I'd do a read through from Out of the Size, so we thought we'd give it a go. Um, this is not right at the beginning of the book, it's a little, a little way in. Um, let's give it a go. The hole was a couple of feet over my head and about four feet wide. It had taken me most of the day to dig it. My arms were shaking with fatigue and now I had to figure out how to get myself out. I could reach the top of it, but I didn't have the strength to pull myself up. Will! He didn't come. Will! Nothing. The sun was going down, and now I was in a cold hole in the shade. I thought about my mum, the cold hole, her communion with the earth. Oh, for a draught of vintage that had been cooled a long age in the deep delved earth. Bloody Keats. I hadn't thought of Keats in a long time, a decade or more perhaps. Eight feet down in a hole and dredging up buried memories and Keats. Will! I had the idea to make little footholds. It seemed so stupid that I couldn't get out of this friggin' hole. But even picking up the pick and spade, my arms were seizing. What's going to happen when I'm too old to do things? This world's not equipped to deal with that, and the other three stand a good chance of dying before me. Unless I'm lucky. But what if I live to a ripe old age? My grandfather had dementia. Perhaps I wouldn't care. Wandering around Hales Owen in another world. I'd just look like another prune loom with Wernick Korsakoff's. I think I'd sooner conk out like Dad, hit the tiles and just not come around again. I sat on the cold earth thinking about him. He was fast fading in me, wasting away like an old VHS tape I had watched too many times. The old scientist had once seemed so wise, but he'd got more daft as I'd got older and seen more of the world, which made me feel sad. The drunken violence of my childhood had faded too, as I'd begun to forgive him. Now mostly I remembered his stupid laugh, moronic and mischievous. It was the warmest memory. But even this was a distortion, a scratched record skipping back and forth. I seemed to see his smile in reverse, unsmiling, and it was becoming sad and alien. Soon it would be just that, alien to me. I'd also written so much about him over the years and you'd think that would be a good thing. Snippets of a childhood, like a photo. But actually, they were all written in moments and moments make these things different so that it all feels unreal. Like, is it an actual memory or just the memory of a photograph? I must try not to write about Lucy. Or the boy. I can still feel her head on my neck. I can still carry him on my shoulders.